Usually we can do it, but sometimes we don't want to do it or we can't do it. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John LaPook. Welcome to this week's segment of CBSDoc.com. We're going to be talking in beautiful Central Park in New York City to you and to two experts all about female sexuality. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. How's your love life? I'm happy to say that I don't need men anymore. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Any right. questions about female sexuality? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I haven't really thought about it. Well, um, yeah, that's a yeah. problem. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's tough to get people to stop on the street in Central Park and talk to you about sexuality. However, we're going to get there. She you're, wants you're to waiting. talk. Come, come. She wants to yeah. talk. I have hot flashes all the time. Have you had memory tra challenges? Memory, um, migraines, insomnia. I'll be 49 soon, so it just started recently. I used to love sex all the time, anytime, all day, and now I'm just trying to come up with excuses to not have sex. I'm just kind of waiting for it to come back. Should it normally come back without without any hormonal replacement therapy? It's normal, normal to be cyclic, especially at this stage. Right. But there, there's another gland that can take over the responsibility, and that's the adrenal gland. Once uh -huh. your ovaries start letting you down, uh -huh. and the way you keep that in shape is take care of yourself. Exercise, so. keep your stress level down. That adrenal gland has some has some great hormones. As we get through to menopause, as women get to menopause, libido can go down, right? What are some of the other things that can drop libido? Stress. Uh -huh. Probably in this country, that's one of the biggest contributors, our 24-7 society. And what about medication? Well, a lot of women take antidepressants, and antidepressants can cause us really a very high incidence level of not just incre decrease interest, but also decrease function. How many women have problems getting orgasm? Talk, talk to us about that. Oh, as many as 30%. I mean, it's a huge amount, yeah. And so what's to be done about that? If she seeks help, uh -huh. there are individual things she can do. Diet changes, toys, avoiding certain medications, and a therapist. There are great sex therapists in this country, but start with a gynecologist. There was a study out that showed that more than 50% of people over the age of 50 have some sort of a sexual problem, and only and the vast majority never talk to their doctor about it. The biggest problem is, one of the biggest problems is dryness. There are a few misconceptions about vaginal dryness that I think are important to clear up, right? It's actually an interesting challenge because a lot of women assume it just has to do with lubrication, but it's really more about elasticity. I mean, a woman can struggle making herself slippery, but if she's not elastic, she's still in pain. And those are two different things. So what do you do? So, so the lubricants can help with the dryness, but what do you do in terms of the elasticity? In terms topical, of the ability? topical estrogen. But I always want to say when we recommend or suggest any medication, every medicine has a potential side effect, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So you always talk to your doctor about it. One of the questions we've been talking about is that as women get older, they notice changes in the body. Now, you've just had a pregnancy, right? Yeah. Have you noticed any changes in your memory following childbirth? Yeah, I think I have. What kind? I keep losing things. Is that normal? Well, yeah, because you know, estrogen really soars during your pregnancy and it really helps with verbal memory. Of course, during pregnancy, the blood is being transferred, so some of us get really spacey during our pregnancy simply because of the blood moving in different places. But after delivery, some make the comment, my memory went out with the placenta. And, and a lot of that has to do with estrogen levels falling after delivery and they kind of stay low during nursing. When does it get back to normal with your memory, with your hormones? A lot of women notice changes for about three years. When the child is about three, things start to really return to normal. So it varies, but Mother Nature has other priorities for you. And sleep is a really <laughs> good thing for your memory. I oh mean, yeah. You're yeah. never going to have a good memory that. if you're not sleeping. Yeah. That's about it. We're here in beautiful Central Park in New York City. And who better than a middle-aged male to talk to women who he's never met uh, about female sexuality, right? But with the help of Dr. Laurie Warren and Dr. Rebecca Booth, I think we got a, some interesting conversations, don't you think? Yeah, right. people are so open and honest. We hope that you enjoyed it. And please send your questions to doc at cbs.com. I'm Dr. John LaPook for cbsdoc.com. Good day and good health.